All righty then, folks. Welcome to the back nine of Sheep Ranch. EAL Course Vlog is live. Sheep Ranch is live. If you want the full breakdown of Sheep Ranch, go to episode one where we crack it open. I will say that the interesting response I've had to making them is that I start to care about my score a little more because, shocker, I care what you think of my golf game, even though you might think I don't. I want to look good. I want to. I want to feel good. Don't we all? But the truth is, I know at the end of the day, you don't really care what I shoot. You just want to watch some golf, and you probably even like it when I make some mistakes. So, on the back nine, I've got some mistakes coming your way. First up, 10th hole, 390, par 4. Got a mistake for you right off the tee, folks. I was ready to hit a draw. Lo and behold, I hit a cut. Found, uh... <laughs> found nothing. I didn't find the ball ever. This ball is donation to the gods. Uh, it wound up in the rough here, and uh, that's me cracking open a new sleeve of ice balls, dropping one on the ground there. I got a blind shot here. Pulled a uh, nine iron, because I think I had something like 140, and uh, basically hit a great shot at the target that wasn't there. I was aimed about 40 yards left. Uh, it, it was a good shot. And uh, this, for me, very tidy little chip shot. Happy with that. And uh, tap in bogue to start the back round. Tap in bogey. That, that should have been the name. Oh, is that in? I don't know. We're going to count that COVID, <laughs> folks. 11th hole, we got a big par 5, 529 from the back tees here. And you know what my swing thought is? Roast this ball. When I get there, it better be brown. Hit the absolute Step life out of the right ball there. when I got there. It wasn't even breathing. <laughs> uh, I've got a five wood in my hands on my second shot. The uh, number in was 270 up the hill. Waited for the green to clear like a tour player, folks. Pants by Jay Lindbergh, obviously. Moving into this five wood, and I literally hit a great shot. It's It's shocking. For me, very happy with it. Wasn't enough, though. Didn't quite get on the green. Um, and here we've got 58 degree. I've got exactly 40 yards. Do my little half swing shot there. As you can see, this green, like a lot of the greens at Bandon Dunes uh, courses, have tiers that you want to hit. I did not hit that tier. Um, kind of, kind of uh, rolled back a little bit. And the uh, birdie putt here is on route. And uh, it kept going. It actually left the entire film itself. And we have a tap in, not really a tap in. This is a knee knocker that stresses me out, keeps me awake at night. But I made it for par, folks. So we're one over heading on to the 12th tee, 440. This one is basically right by the fire pit behind me in the clubhouse, which is unfinished. Fire pit is not functional currently, but it will be when you get there, I promise. Uh, 12th hole, a little wipey cut. Was expecting a draw. You know, a lot of times I look up after hitting the ball, and it's kind of like a slot machine. Never really know what I'm going to get. Six iron in my hands, and I'm looking at kind of just letting the wind pull this thing around. Lo and behold, the wind did not. So there's a little ridge down below the screen, and I elect to putt it, and I'm not too disappointed with the line, but the speed. Ooh, the speed. Nice putt. And this would result in a three putt. You're gonna give me that putt, right? Six inches? I didn't make it, but just give it to me, please. 13th hole, we got a par five, folks. This is 510. Pretty doable. It hit a pretty good drive here. Uh, just kind of curled around the left side. Uh, nice shot. So this is short par five. I've got pretty pretty far downwind, and I've got 195 to the stick. So I've got a five iron in my hands, and I'm looking just again at the right edge of the green here. And wow, terrible shot. Just just absolutely terrible. And and here you're gonna a real taste of the fact that. Sheep Branch has no actual bunkers. I'm here in a, what they're calling a wispy hollow, is the words that Cor and Crenshaw are using. Uh, this basically would be a bunker. I found it more playable not as a bunker in some cases. 
Um, unfortunately, this shot is one of the worst shots that a person can hit on a golf course. More or less a shank with the wedge. Found myself in more trouble. And I'm reminded of Joel Dahman's podcast that we did a few weeks back uh, where he talks about no hands. two chips. And I hadn't really heard two chips a lot, but I heard it a lot inside my head this week. And here is the... <laughs> here... Here is the par putt, which the truth is, if this went in, this is an incredible par. It was a good drive, bad five iron, terrible first chip, good second chip. That's a bogey. Where did the term bogey come from? So 14 is a hole where you're looking basically at the saddle between those mounds. Kind of want to draw it a little bit. I hit an accidental cut. It happens almost five times around, and I only hit about 10 drivers. Luckily, I found a good spot here. Seven iron, got a flat lie. One of the things about the 14th fairway is you can't always see the pin, which uh, you cannot from this angle as well. So seven iron and um, a really cool shot here of the kind of basin that exists underneath the green on your way up. Yeah, so 7-iron just kind of overcooked the draw there, just shut the face down and said, hello, left side of the green and whatever's over there. Never seen you before. So ball's sitting up in the rough. I've got a 58 degree, kind of opened it up, got a little cute with it, and there's another two-chip. This is a phrase that I would really like to delete from my memory because I keep thinking about it when I two-chip. Uh, so here we are looking at just kind of trying to get it over this rise and looks like on this hole, I can use the word three chip almost. I'm going to putt this instead, though. Tap in double. Again, a word that you should never utter to another human being. <laughs> oh, Sheep Ranch is stunning, though. Can't you see? 15 here. Wonderful short par four. Little blocky cut, and you can see here. Like Tiger Woods, I got a back problem, folks. I have a little scoliosis, and I actually have a bone spur in my upper back there. It looks like a little shark fin. Don't tell a lot of people that. Uh, pin high, about 90 yards right. <laughs> this is what happens when you play a lot of golf, folks. You start missing more, at least if you're me. Grab the 58. I've got a little bit more than I like to hit with my 58, but I don't want to go long. So I just take a big swing. And uh, don't hit the green because it's just a little bit short. And, uh, you know, this is still a birdie putt here from way off the green. And it is a good putt. Wow. Tap in par, folks. That was a fun par. Uh, on to the 16th hole. This is the hole that shares the green with number three. And from here, we've got 175. I'm going to take a seven iron here. I'm looking at the fat of the green and I'm just going to let the ball draw back. Just found this grass bunker here and Connor, who's doing the filming, is basically about to fall off the cliff and uh, probably take my phone with him. But luckily he didn't and uh, we're, we've got this shot. Really, really tried to put as much energy as I could into this shot and getting the ball clean because these are the kind of shots that can turn into big numbers real quick. Uh, just want to get it on the putting surface, as Joel Dahman said, and not what? Not what? Two chip, folks. It's a one chip, and we've got about 20 feet here for par and kind of dw dwaddling around this little putt here for bogey. This round went fast, folks. The memories of Sheep Ranch are very bold. Look at this tee shot. So this is not the actual tee. This is just off the green. There's no tee here. The tee is actually up on that ridge there to the right. So we're just kind of having some fun. Technically speaking, this hole is 326. From back here, it's probably 375. It's a good move. I uh, hit the fairway, basically bought about uh, two inches of fairway there on the right, feeling pretty good about it, and uh, got a nine iron in my hands from 155. Just uh, 
really you can't see it from here, but anything left of this pin is uh, it, it falls off into China is actually right over there. Just wanted to keep my ball in play, so played it up the right side, short and right. Yeah, I was actually pretty happy with this play. You know, I think sometimes you try to try to get too much out of the golf ball, and then it ends up sort of it's like passive aggressive. It kind of gets back at you. There's old Jake taking some photos. He came down from Seattle to get some photos of the uh, project here, and we've got a little par cleanup to make, and it just rolls over the edge. Good par there, Eric. 18, folks, the come home hole. This, in some cases, is beautiful, and in other cases, tragic. Walking up to 18 here, you definitely see this little house that's on the edge of the property. That's actually for rent. Apparently, it's on some type of rental site for renting houses. And I'll be honest, that's a beautiful house. I'm sure people have tried to buy it. Looking over the first green in the 18th tee at Sheep Ranch, that would be a house to have for the night. So here, Chupka challenged me to hit it to the baby fairway on the left above that bunker, uh, which is about 280 out. And just basically tour status, hit the best drive of my life, found a fairway that's about 20 yards wide. And um, we've got a, this whole 464 from the tips, not really a fair par five if there ever was one i've got an eight iron in my hands coming home i think the goal here was to really leave you with a wonderful feeling which it did eight iron in from 165 really nice got some tempo on it and just was trying to not go right which i accomplished about a 40 footer for eagle <laughs> told myself get it to the hole Told myself again, get it to the hole. Tap in birdie to walk away from Sheep Ranch. Great round here today. Really enjoyed this property. It was my first time playing it, and I look forward to the next for sure. A great addition to the six courses at Banton Dunes if you include the preserve. And if you include shorties, there's seven. Thanks for watching the Banton Dunes Sheep Ranch course vlog. More to come, that's for sure. All of the courses before we leave here will be vlogged by the EAL crew. Enjoy your evening, enjoy your morning, and enjoy your afternoon. Thanks for watching.